Last question I got for you. Close your eyes and picture this fight. How's this thing play out? I'm going to knock him out or submit him. It's not going to go to distance. If it go to distance, it's going to take the beating off his life. What was your, your training for, for this fight? It, it was very, very good, very intense. I trained, you know, with high-level strikers, high-level uh, jiu-jitsu guys, so I'm prepared for, you know, whatever the fight goes. Are you, are you planning to use more legs than often because of his knee injury? I'm, I'm planning to use everything, you know, uh, knees, kick, punches, elbows, everything I got, I'm going to throw at him. Do you think a win over him puts you... Any, any again? Definitely, definitely. I win over him, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'll be the next one in the line. Uh, if not, you know, definitely one fight away to fight for the belt. So, you know, that's the plan. Robbie, what is putting your style on the line against Robbie? Against Robbie? What do you think, uh, how, how do you think Robbie's going to win since you're a teammate? You know, Robbie he's is going to knock him out or submit him, you know, but the belt's going to stay ATT and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll get to fight for the belt. Chago. Who's the real champ at light heavyweight right now? Is it Daniel Cormier or is it John Jones? It's Daniel. He 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 has the belt, you know. Uh, so uh, we, we got to be realistic here, and uh, I think Jones, you know, it's it's the best fighter in the world, in my opinion, you know. But until he comes back, you know, Daniel is the champion. Betty Coyier got in a little bit of trouble this week, with a little bit of heat. She said she wants to beat Ronda Rousey so bad that Ronda wants to kill herself afterwards. So she's taking some heat for that. What do you think? Is there a line that you have to be careful not to cross when, when you're hyping a fight and talking trash, or is it just fair game? Uh, it, it's it's a war, you know. It's a fair game. I mean, uh, I I I don't work like that, you know. That's I, I don't choose those words, but you know, if if she she says, I'm sure she, she has a plan in her mind. So props to her. Reebok deal is starting this summer. Question is, what do managers do now? Are they necessarily not? Some guys are leaving their managers. What do you, what do you take? Do you feel like managers are still necessary? They need to get creative, or you feel like maybe you don't need them anymore? I, I have my manager for you know 12 years since I moved here. He's he's my godfather, so I'll never change him. But I do have an agency that I work with, first round management, and uh, you know the the thing now is they're gonna get a sponsors outside of the octagon. You know uh, the Reebok deal could be a little bit be better. You know, but it is what it is. So, you know, I try not to focus on things that, you know, I cannot change.